Awad is very happy because his skits and bits probably getting a lot more hits today because Gilbert Gottfried was doing nice. bits out there. Very good. Yes. You can go to thefandc.com slash video <laughs> to watch Gilbert go through basically a pile of trash looking for Something I can take for free. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the <laughs> reputation around here. Like yeah. That. I have that <laughs> reputation all over the world. <laughs> but well deserved, but who, hey, nobody likes free more than we do. I think yeah. Gilbert might have us beat on that. You uh, see? Yeah. I think he might. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing, honestly, in your life, be it a celebrity, what's the best thing you've ever gotten for free? Honestly. Oh, when, when they were still worth, like, Ten thousand dollars or twelve thousand, uh, before they the price went down, someone gave me a free big screen TV. Oh, when they were like, screen. oh, yes. when they were real. But did you have to do a commercial for them or something? No, they just no. gave it to you. They just gave it to me. Like when flat screens first came out, yeah. they were like eight yeah. grand. So or how long ago was this? I I think I did. Fifteen years ago. Yeah. Years I ago? think I may have done a live show for them, but they paid me for the live show. And, and they threw in a TV. They threw in a TV. Well, we don't have any TVs to give you, but I think there are like running shoes well, out if, there. If and you what? ever want me back, <laughs> yes. you better have a TV to give me. <laughs> well, Gilbert, good. Be, well, you never know. You might see Gilbert out on Half Street with one of these TVs <laughs> from the wall. <laughs> Gilbert will be at the DC Improv tonight through Saturday. Go to dcimprov.com for tickets. You like getting back to DC? Uh, I I like going anywhere where they wave a check in my face. It's like, yeah, no preference. Yeah, it could be a comedy club in Iraq. <laughs> Gilbert, honestly, do you still? Obviously, you like to work, but could you retire today, never work again, and be fine financially? Boy, I I always ask myself that. <laughs> or do you I, still I, need the money? Yeah, I I don't. I, I should ask my accountant <laughs> if I could give it up. Because at times I, I really, really feel like like I'll get booked to do a club. And I'll go, I don't want to do a club. And, right. But The then, money's too good? Yeah. Well, what happens, I always have to remind myself. It's like, oh, uh, you know, like I'll say, oh, God, I worked this week, this week, this week. And then I go, oh, so my big problem is that I'm employed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That people are willing to pay money to see me. You might like, as well do it. What else are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah. When you're not on the road, what are you doing when you're at home? Uh to me, vacation time is sitting on the couch by myself <laughs> watching TV with a remote where you watch two seconds of each thing. Right, exactly. You don't Even watch. if it's something you want You would to love watch. watching TV with yeah. JP then. Yeah, you guys are <laughs> simpatico. You guys do yeah. the same thing. So, you, But you don't like to like go to an island or something? No, That's no. That's not your so thing? So you don't like to travel? No, I hate it. That's what he does for his job is travel. I understand that, yeah. but he's still working when he's traveling. You don't, so, and you live in the city? Uh, yeah. So you don't want a little a little acreage, maybe? Maybe be out in the woods? Yeah, he oh, strikes oh. me as a guy who, like, he's going to take care of a lawn. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like a cabin or a lake house. Or, I'm just, Oh, know. yeah, well, I have a cabin for when I write my novels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would just think you would maybe want a place to get away. Living in, in Manhattan or New York City, wherever you live. Uh, I would think that would just be a little much. I don't know. I'd want to get away from all the people. It'd make me nutty. Well, see, that's the thing. I, I grew up in New York, so it's like so to you me, know, right. going outside of it is is different. Yeah. Yeah, right. I get it. Do you have a circle of friends that you hang out with? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's another thing that gets me like, I would think after all the years in show business, I'd have a big circle of showbiz <laughs> friends, right. and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's, I don't your best friend? You. Yeah. who's your best friend in the business? Wow, that's a tough one. Because I'm like, my friendships with people in show business are like, if I happen to be thrown in a situation with them after not seeing them for years, we're friendly. Mm -hmm. Sure. But uh, you don't communicate regularly with anyone. No, no. You, you have a texting buddy, like you're watching a game and you're texting them about a game. No, I, nothing like that. <laughs> it, it, it's like, and I'll hear about other people, other comics who aren't even that 
big. <laughs> and and they'll have like they'll talk about who they uh, were talking to yesterday, and they'll say, "Oh yeah, yesterday I was talking to to Leonardo DiCaprio." Mm-hmm. Right, and I'll go, "How do you?" <laughs> I I. I couldn't get in touch with Yakov Schmierno. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good old school man. Yes, yeah, give us a, without I mean, on your phone right now, who's the biggest name on your phone? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, well, could you call could you call Chris Rock if you wanted? No. Really? No. Are you guys not friendly? No, I mean, another one of those people. Like, if I ran into him right if, now, right. it would be, uh, you know, we'd laugh and talk, but then after that, that's it. If we're not thrown in a situation together, right? Yeah, it it's. Uh, is it is it something about you? Maybe everything in my <laughs> life something about me. 